Oh hello guys, welcome to Rust Inventions. I feel about weird, a little weird saying it's my workshop because I know in watching other people's films it's sort of you, you as a as a viewer you sort of feel part of it of the channel so it's almost like our workshop but anyways welcome um, it's another day and again a little bit of the same project actually something that I sort of put aside for a while uh, now if you watched my previous uh, videos you probably would notice or would know this the old hydraulic press I've put it aside in the corner it's not been that long saying that the, the spiders already already made little home for them um, and they're underneath the a lot of bits there's the ram a bit dirty I need to clean it up now for this and I'm a little bit at the loss threading because I need to set this in roughly there of course I will put cross members in to carry this I also need to smooth this out still but later on um, cross members then I want to be able to take this ram off and use it somewhere else uh, maybe for other projects I don't know I just don't want to permanently fix it into this and maybe in the future I have to use it somewhere else I don't know uh, there was an idea also that also that I would fit this or, or be able to fit this ram on the side uh, so I'll have a attachment in the center and one on the side the side one um, make it so that I can bend tubes um, or a bender for some sort of thing so I can have like different uh, dies or guides and push pipes, turn pipes with it or stuff I don't know uh, see where it goes anyways the, the threading I haven't done single point threading yet on the lathe um, it's quite a coarse thread, that's fine um, and then it'd be internal thread as well I mean you, you start normally I would reckon with external like normal this thread and then work your way up to internal threading I haven't done that either, neither I haven't done any of it basically so what I have is thread guides, I've got a few of them and then the other thing which I also thought of turning internal thread um, this may be work on the lathe uh, not too sure what I want to do I mean first thing on my life really which I want to do is probably clean this up a little and put start putting DROs and stuff on but um, in, anyway internal threading I'm, I'm losing a point this may be made make a tail stop or a, not a carriage stop so that you know I've got these fixing points so that you know you can know where your threading stops because I don't want to damage the cutter or you know anything like so um, 
I don't have anything like that, even a, like a carriage stop. So that might be something to do. I think I reckon probably would be the start of this project because with machine work a lot of times sorry a lot of times you try to do something and before you start you gotta first do something else and another thing and another thing to make something that you need so you end up doing a almost like a couple of projects just to turn out on a project or to start working on a project that you actually need so maybe we should do that i'll start working on a carriage stop then that's an idea oh well let's see all right guys so um yeah that carriage stop i was making or not making but decided to make in preparation of the starting to look at the thread on the cylinder oh, everything is so dusty and dirty I'll need to clean it up it's a brand new part and look at the state of it <coughs> uh, yeah things got carried away with other things I found a proper old piece of rusty um, metal this actually let me give you a bit of background on this okay so I worked on film sets uh, recently oh quite a few years actually and this was part of one of the prime evil um, props things there was some worm ugly little thing on here uh, there was a swivel point in the center and some wheels on it and they dragged this worm thing through the set um, I have used, I have acquired, I took took off the worm thing, I didn't want that, but of course I wanted a metal, so, and, and the wheels were pretty nice, the wheels on there, so I kept the wheels, got it somewhere, but this was laying at the old house next to my old shed, and rusted up nicely, while I didn't really had a purpose for it and yeah through the years I used bits and bobs I still have a couple of pieces around somewhere um, and yeah this is gonna work for it I don't need any special material this uh, I still need to clean that up as well that's off cut off the gate so my idea is clean that up I want to square at least one of the edges up um, probably on the lathe I'll set up the milling attachment on the lathe um, clean that up drill a through hole and then I've got some threaded rod that I want to put in there to, uh, so that it could slide along and uh, butt up to the, the, the what's that the, the cross slide the saddle I think that's what it is oh, I'm, my, my terminology is not up to scratch today again but yeah up to the saddle I believe and then uh, with some I need to make some turn some some nuts with maybe uh, I hate it if a day is like this I can't I can't get two words like my memory is all over my, my brain's all over the place um, 
no, with some knurling on it so that it could um, work nicely and I could probably turn that out of this crusty piece of metal as well another new addition that I've on, on one of your guys I can't remember exactly who said what but on one of the recommendations for drilling the holes in this uh, bench uh, no uh, oh, come on this hydraulic press that's the word I'm looking for um, was that I get a magnetic drill and it made a lot of sense I was thinking on that actually for a while and almost forgot about it um, thinking about other things you know getting the garden done and all of that and through the years a few times I thought oh, that would be handy actually and I end up acquiring one it is new it's not top brand but yeah I'm sure that will be handy seeing as my drill press is very cheap and <coughs> sorry my drill press is struggling a little with the metal you know it's, it's actually is it it's good enough for wood but I, I really need something that's a bit more you know beefy for the thicker materials and to be able to drill bigger holes uh, that'll be nice even even if just you know I fed it onto the old metal surface and I clamp something down and use it here I can always push it aside if I don't want it anymore or don't need it for that project anymore so but anyway you'll see it probably at some stage I'll bring it out it's just standing there in the corner uh, there you can see it well um, yeah so that's stuff that I've got to do so I think what I've got to start with uh, I dug that out I don't need that I think um, I know some people is going to be not very happy at this but I tried the old um, threaded holes in the lathe let me bring you over there the, I believe that's for a gear box the fixing points here and I don't know if somebody was in there before because I think that one's got a broken stud in there the thread on that one is not any good so you know what I'll although I don't like it I might just drill and tap it knock out these little Allen key bolts around heads that's going to do the job it's not going in very deep um, and the idea is not to have something that will stop a train it's just a, a visual guide for me to run into I won't run a, the or well, the idea is not to anyway run the automatic feed into it course then you'll break other stuff you just get close to it disconnect it and you can wind it in with the hand late um, too closer to where you need to be or bang on to where you need to be so I want to even if you know I'm not going to make such a uh, beautiful part I had a lot of ideas with multi stops on 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 the gadget but I think I'm just gonna for the moment just have a straight stop um, till I decide what I want to do in the future and that will help me out anyway so I'll, I'll just um, fix the the idea is to fix I'll show you the dirty old bar <laughs> I'll I'll fix this in there that will bring me past that little, if I wind this over 
uh, pass that card there because I don't really want to run stuff in there you know you've got all sorts on there um, I really wanted to bow up into this vicinity here so that's what, that will bring it out a bit but with this stock you know the profile let's do that side it's a bit well, I don't know how not very clean but it's a little bit round on the uh, short sides so I was thinking of running that to uh, the milling attachment on the lathe and uh, just square that up so I've got a nice fixing point there and then on top uh, put that round stock that rusty old round stock of the film set um, with a through hole and thread a bar that will go through it so I'll have to drill a through hole I'll do that on the lathe as well as cleaning it up and uh, have the hole bigger than the threaded bar so the threaded bar could slide through with ease and then have your stopping nuts which you be knurling nuts null nuts both sides just to stop it off seen it on oh, one of the guys that I'm subscribed to I'll just look into ideas really how to do this and I'll do a similar sort of thing um, yeah so that's the first real project on on the my fit leave I think let's get on with that um, first of all I think I'll start cutting this cleaning it up as well as the old bar I'm not too sure how deep that hole is so I'll just cut it on 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 oh, through there and see how deep that hole is because I don't really want that hole um, so I could use it as well um, but I think I'll, I'll just drill a new hole in there um, anyway cut it cut a piece out of it or maybe longer first so that I can clean it up on the lathe and, and go with that so a bit of grinding work to start with um, I don't think I'm going to dig the old chop saw out I'll just go with the flow ok I'll do that then <coughs> ok so I've got it clamped down on the vise lock the vise off and I'm just going to guesstimate the distance and cut it so I've got you set up on the bench on a tripod I haven't done the camera stand yet or the camera fixtures I'll have to do something about that in the future
I think first of all seen as it's set up for uh, round stock I'll make this uh, bush sleeve thing that will fit on there um, I'm just going to weld the piece on there I'm not totally sure probably set it back a little so that I can fix a, a bolt in there that might be an idea, yes um, and then I'll start making the, the knurled handle knob things um, sorry I see the glare of the light again in the back um, yeah so we're going over to Leif which is right there actually and I should have covered it up while I'm doing the grinding saying that there is a couple of meters between us so hopefully and the old extractor fan is on so hopefully and the sparks didn't fly that way so hopefully it will be good stop interrupting yourself <laughs> anyways I'll start doing that Okay, so you're above the lathe now, and I still need to sort out my lathe tools. I've got a very basic setup there. Um, it's a little bit all over the place. I'm just going to go with a three jaw. <coughs> That'll be good enough for now. Okay. So first of all, of course, like always, just give it a bit of oil. Even if it's messy, it doesn't matter. You still want your trusty old machine to last for years to come. And all of this oil has leaked out. I'm just going to give it a little. Um, out of that. I have oiled out the way so that'll be fine bring my cutting oil around okay and we sort of ready to go so first of all I want to like always clean that face up all oh, this uh, tip has seen some some work anyways I might get a little bit more out of it so I just want to clean that up face it up they call it uh, so just move that away I check that it's it's free and I'll start it up oh that's a bit slow but speed's only on I want to set the speed up for move the belt over a little so I can go a little bit faster come on there you go that'll be better let's try that that's better lock it off here That's it. So unlock that. I'm gonna put it in gear. Okay. And I'll just bring it up so there's a light scratch showing on there. And 
I'll start over the automatic feed. A bit of oil on there. Automatic feed. And off we go. Clean it up. isn't very pretty um, I'm actually not very happy with that at all let's see what other bits I've got uh, there is I haven't used this in a while there is an old bit I used to love used to use often sorry for my hands in the way Let's just try this, see what it does. Oh, clean that out. Where's my brush gone? There. There's a lot of salt in there. On the old bit. Now I can see that it's not very sharp. I don't really want to grind it now. I might have to. I just want to see what it does. Okay, uh, start it up first. bad actually uh, I'm gonna stop it there I could file it up or just dig through my bin of bits and see if I can uh, find a bit of bit I might even sharpen this up but I don't need a sharp tip so I think that's what I'm going to do, is just see what sort of bits I get. Because while I'm doing this, I might as well do a decent job out of it. Okay, so I've got a more round profile tip in there. Uh, I don't know why I haven't used this. I mean, I've got so many bits that I got with this lathe. I don't know what half of them look like. Um, I reckon without fiddling around too much with the, the speeds and feeds uh, I could probably get a cleaner cut so if I lube that up and I'll just use that as well to clean that corner up when I'm ready Just want to give it a scratch pass. And that's not very good either. It's not too bad. I think something is out there. going to use the edge of this even and just take that sharp edge off beautiful okay so 
I'll take that away. Just want to give it a bit of a sand. I'll put a bit of oil on there. Somebody was saying in one of the videos that I watch, you put oil on it, you get a smoother finish. Let's try it. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't need to be polished up. Well, why not do a nice job out of it? Beautiful, but it will it will do the job. Okay, so I want to take this out of the way, and I want to start drilling it. So I'll bring the old tail stock closer. Uh, get some drill bits out. So I'll dig all of that out. All the bits and bobs that I might need. And I'll get you guys back. Okay, so I'm pretty much setting up, set up. I've got the center drill there. <coughs> Just to find the center of that. I'll lock the tail stock. I don't know if you can see it even. I'll lock the tailstock in and start drilling that. A little bit of cutting fluid. Start the old lathe up and off we go. A little bit fast. Nice, that's good enough for a start. Swap that over for a thinner bit, drill bit. Uh, which bit am I going to take? This one. This is about 5 mil, quarter inch, just over, well, yeah, about quarter inch, maybe slightly bigger doesn't really matter um, how deep do I want to go I want to go about I don't know deep enough anyway <laughs>
and that turned out. Lovely. So that's that. I just need it, need to part it off. And I do have a rear tool post. I haven't set up yet. Okay. And we're getting ready to part. I want to go slow. outside and there you go as Blondie Hacks saying Yachty beautiful and there's our little piece okay so what I need to check um, if that drill bit was big enough, I just need to put try it on the threaded bar. So there we go, and that's a nice fit, perfect. Especially once you know the uh, uh, the nuts are on there, it will pull up nice and tight and straight. Um, I'm just going to clean up that face so I'll remove that put that safe somewhere uh, I can put this in change the old uh, workpiece out That save somewhere. Uh, that's there. I'm not going to clamp it too hard. I'll probably score the face. Uh, let me just actually. I want. Where's my other cutters gone? Here. I'm all over the place, like always. <laughs> Put that there for the moment. Put this in in there. I just want to quickly clean up the face. careful close to the jaws. I have got myself a collet set which again I haven't tried yet at some stage another another day in another project I'm sure I will have to make it work so that's that 
while we're on that I might as well make the little knurled um, nuts so I'll put that safe somewhere uh, get this piece back in uh, okay The old power feed was locked off. Okay. I want to actually use the power feed. Get a bit of love on there. Start it up. Okay, so that's set up. It's a lot better now. I want some oil in there. Oop. That's a hungry thingy there. I want to chew up my uh, brush. more so hopefully it will find its its happy place there That's it. Nice. Okay. So what I'm thinking is I'll uh, change this over to the uh, farting tool. Where's that it? Put this up here and I'll just part of the let me take this tail stock away. Um, so my knurling is hmm, about nine mil, nine and a half. So if I go at the twenty mil deep and part of there, that should be nice. So, sorry if my hands are in the way. So I'll go 
on the 20 there that should do it lock that off and powder there it's not catching anywhere so good start it up So, apparently, this is the drill bit size for it. Uh, the tailstock isn't blocked off, as you see, it's a little bit bouncy. Not to worry, this is a new set. I've got it for a long time. I just I didn't feel the need for using it yet. <laughs> It just sound like a good price when I saw it. Oh, look at that. The new draw bit is nice. I'll tell you that. Oh, that's chewing food. Lovely. Don't overcook it now. I've just slipped by and I think she's a bit scared of getting on the camera now although she's quite dressed up because she's got a business thing that I mentioned before in one of the other videos so she appears on the camera all the time but yeah she brought me a coffee so guys I'm gonna take the hint and yes dear I'll take a break <laughs> it's one of those things I don't I wouldn't argue with that I'll just say thank you and uh, I did actually I did thank her for that um, it was in Afrikaans though you guys probably don't, wouldn't understand but um, anyway donkey that's your word of the day sounds like donkey and that's thank you if you want to say thank you very much my uncle is married to an English woman my aunt is English and uh, he's always saying say buy a donkey um, it sounds very much similar um, basically it's buy a donkey so yeah there's, there's your Thank you very much. Your 
Afrikaans lesson, lesson of the day. So I need to turn this proper down. And that, that's going to do me a start. It's all that I wanted. Now I'll undo the chuck. The drill chuck and from there I could use a, a proper old spanners for that. Anyways I'm gonna take the hint drink my coffee. Yes dear. So guys I've been to the hospital yesterday they um, they call it a pre-op but I'm not really going for operation. I'm going. I'll. Uh, I'm going for the old uh, camera. Um, I've got some procedures. My wife's calling it to be done. Uh, it's just ongoing health stuff, and unfortunately, they have given me a diet thing. First thing I asked is, uh, can I eat meat? And I never looked ever, even any further on the pamphlet. And she said, yeah, 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 you can eat meat. So I was happy. But now my wife read through the thing like she usually does. And I'm a caffeine free stuff, you know, decaf and all of that. You know, I, I, I prefer meat anyway, and you know, to veggies and all of that. But, oh man, just cutting everything out, it's, it's a bit hard. But anyways, so the good wife is quite happy making me coffees and checking that I don't, I don't get my calf and stuff in the uh, caffeine. Anyways, I um, wanted to show you this set here, that's one of the things that I got with the lathe. I have added like bits into it, but um, yeah, you know, uh, dies and taps that I needed. But, and, and with the moving a lot of things fell out of the spots, I need to dig them out and put them back but yeah I mean the set was used but I'm very happy the old um, tobacco tin it's got even more really fine thread dyes in there so yeah that's what I'm really using that's why I didn't really open the other other sets really um, but the other set, what is, is, is this, is only a draper set and it's got some no, new, only taps in there, no dies. But um, that's what I'm using today, saying that there's a M10 anyway there. But I only needed uh, the tap wrench and I know there's a few bits in there uh, so I'm just going to grab a tap wrench and use that uh, I want a half decent one actually I have bought a decent one if I can lay my hands upon it I have bought a nice one so uh, in the meantime I showed you this set um, it's one of the things they wanted to to throw out when uh, you know when they clear the workshop out if you go to my previous videos I have explained all of that but anyways I so I just wanted to show you that okay this is a tap wrench I was looking for found it at last you take that out of the way and hopefully yeah, it feels a bit more sturdy than the cheaper stuff. 
Um, I'm just going to do this by hand now. And I really think I should have brought out a bigger tap wrench. I've got another set as well, also new. You know, a lot of times when you can't find things, you just end up buying another set. Um, and I, I thought, you know, getting a bigger set would be handy. So I end up buying quite a nice big old set, but um, I think I used it once so far, but seeing as I want to go into model engineering at some stage, I wanted a, a really nice big set. That gives me a couple of more options. Um, you know, I should really save the money and buy me a uh, milling machine. <laughs> but there you go. I haven't. I do things sometimes the wrong way. It's just the way I am. Alright. So I'm not totally sure how deep we are with this. Let me switch steps over. Who's this? I don't know if you know taps and dies. This is um, the one you usually start with. You can see it's tapered a lot to the front. Usually you get like three in a set. Um, these are the other two. You can see that one is tapered a lot. Then you got that one which is tapered a bit less. And this one which has got only a slight taper on it. Um, and a lot more thread. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to switch straight away over to the other taps, seeing as I've already made a start. And I think I'm going to just grab a bigger tap wrench. <laughs> 